So let's take a look at how we can evaluate this revenue function um, and figure out how much money we would make at different values. So here we're looking at what would be the revenue if we sold 100 units. So if we sold 100 items uh, that were modeled by this revenue function, what would our revenue be? So this is part C. So we can plug in 100. This is basically just saying what is R of 100. So the revenue at 100 items sold is negative 1 fourth times 100 squared plus 80 times 100. Um, 100 squared is 10,000, so 10,000 plus 80 times 100 is 8,000. Uh, 10,000 divided by 4, that's 2,500, so it's negative 2,500 plus 8,000. And that sum is going to be, so this is R of 100, uh, that sum will be $5,500. So if we sold 100 units, we would make $5,500 in revenue. So that's part A. Um, or sorry, part C. Part D asks, uh, what is the quantity of X that will maximize our revenue? And then what is the maximum revenue? Now again, if you recall, we have a parabola that opens down, right? So the revenue is at its highest right here. This is the maximum for our revenue. This is the maximum. And we know that this is the maximum revenue, so we want to figure out what value of x makes this true. Now this is just going to happen at the vertex of our quadratic function. So we need to find the x value of our vertex. That's going to give us how many units sold maximizes our revenue. And then to get the actual revenue, we just plug that value back in to our function. So for this part, part d, we want to know what the x coordinate is for our vertex. That's going to give us the quantity that we need to sell to maximize the revenue. So we know that when we have a quadratic in standard form, like we have here, we use x equals the opposite of b over 2a to figure out the x value of our vertex. So b is 80, so we have negative 80 over 2 times a, which is negative 1 fourth. And then that's negative 80 divided by, that's going to be negative 1 half. Again, when you divide by a fraction, we can change this into a product of the reciprocal of the denominator. So negative 80 times negative 2, which gives us 160. So in order to maximize our revenue, we need to sell 160 units of whatever this item is. So what is the maximum revenue going to be? What's our maximum revenue going to be? So remember, this is asking for the x coordinate. When we're asking for what the actual maximum revenue is, that's just the y coordinate of our vertex. And to find the y coordinate, we take 160 and we plug it into our function. So what is r at 160? So r at 160 would be negative 1 fourth times 160 squared plus 80 times 160. Uh, if we square 160, we get 25,600 plus 80 times 160, well, that's 1,200, or sorry, 12,800. Uh, 25,600 is divisible by 4. When we divide by 4, we get uh, 6,400, so that's negative 6,400 plus 12,800. Take that sum and we get that our revenue at 160 units, right? The value that should maximize our revenue is going to be 6,400. So 6,400 is the maximum revenue. And that happens when we sell 160 units. Okay. So this last part is asking what price should the company charge in order to maximize their revenue? So if you remember that our revenue is dependent on this demand function. 
And this demand function um, can give us the price that we should sell our product for. So we just take whatever the number of units is that we want to sell, plug it into X, and that should give us the price. So this is the last part, E. So what is the value of P at 160? So we take negative 1 fourth times 160 plus 80. Uh, 160 divided by 4, that's 40. So we get negative 40 plus 80. So our price should be $40. So in order to maximize our revenue, when it follows this demand function, we should sell our product for $40. And if we do, then we would need to sell 160 of them to get $6,400.